these great birdies for Cheyenne to Scott. Gemma Dryborough also off to a good start beginning on the 10th hole. This was at 13. And that would be for a third straight birdie. Looking at some of the action from earlier today, how about the start for Cheyenne Knight? She nearly won a couple weeks ago at Wilshire. And then how about the par five, 14, third shot. At 12 where we saw Cheyenne make birdie and here the 14th, two par fives on this back nine that are playing a couple of the easiest holes on the golf course. Here is a major champion, been out here a long time, I.K. Kim at that 14th. It's only her fourth event of the season. This would so, be a zero putt. Yeah, I was going to say, this wouldn't count as a putt. She, she's just off the green, and that's going to be her first bogey of the week. So Gemma's going to drop back to three under par. Winner last year in Japan. First win on the tour for... The Scotswoman makes her home in New Orleans and has lived in the London area for a long time. Just a moment ago at the 10, Fataya Titikun. She has 118 yards, just trying to control the spin with this wedge. That's been a challenge. To 10 and Titikun for birdie. So a drop shot at one, but three birdies since. And it's just one of those old school designs, Tom, where most greens slope back to front. And if you're going to, if you miss long, it's going to be so quick, so quick coming back down the hill. Cheyenne got off to a really good start with three straight birdies. I was out there watching her early in the round and she dialed in the pace of these greens immediately. Yeah, her ball's sitting down in the rough and it's the ball was below her feet i think sometimes those are really tough shots so fortunately she only had 128 and just hit a really hard wedge just to kind of get it on the green boone and i will be split up like a pair of pork chops here's cheyenne knight her second at the second here we go she had the lead at the time and Nice rebound for Cheyenne, at least today. Looking for some redemption, I am sure, out here this week. Obviously playing some wonderful golf and feeling very much in control of her game. I think this is a similar golf course to Wilshire, an old school. Second shot at 12 for Titikun. Yeah. Reachable for most of the field. So much power in that golf swing. Very good. Yeah. Like a mini ball here. The ball will feed back into the middle of the green, and that's a really nice tee shot. She had a shorter iron in. It's downwind today. Great look at Eagle. Oh, she can't believe it. She's got the crown on the visor. Part of that winning Hanma Life Plus International Crown team. She went undefeated. Jim, you can see we saw Kupcho hit the tree on this shot in the group ahead. You can see how that tree overhangs when you're on that right side of the fairway. No problem for Lydia. What a shot. Let's see if Nelly can dial one in here. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, 149 for Nelly. This is a nine iron. Young golfers' lives. Cheyenne Knight's going to putt this one from off the green. Let's run a little ways by. Uh, the, the front of the green's 136. So coming out of this rough into the wind, she probably needs us to release a little bit and get up that get up that upslope. It's just not quite going to do it. Now bogey putt the other way for Cheyenne Knight. You okay. always get nervous when you see I the do. I do get nervous when we go to really short putts. Yeah. 17. This is Ryan O'Toole. 17 is a par three. We've seen 15. Now this green could get interesting with the speed this week. Flag on the front today. 
And that is fabulous run at all. I mean, she's pitched that in the perfect spot. One of seven players tied for the lead. Ataya Titikun, her third at the par 5, 14th. Yes, it is. She drove it into the left bunker close to the lip. This is all she could do to get it here. And now she has 145. One of the primary reasons this hole is playing so tough is not only the green, but is the fairway. Only about half the field hitting that. At the par 5 14th, big hitting Bailey Tardy. Played really well in Hawaii. Okay, so... Bailey joins the lead with another rookie, Samantha Wagner. The next one you think you're going to make, and usually you hit it too hard. She hit her putt on 16 too hard for birdie, so I think she's going to be more careful here. I go in. Yeah, dialed in there from Cup Joe. Good call, Angela. Well, I'm glad the flag stick was there. <laughs> in 2021. So uh, nice to see her out here finally. Heiji Kang for a birdie at the 13th. Yeah, Heiji's had a tough season. Just one cut made on the LPGA Tour this year. Wow. Oh, oh how did that not go? Incredible. Wow. <laughs> she won't know. Too much spin on it. This is you, Lou, for a birdie at the 17th. Bit of break left to right on this. Oh, one time. That's a good two there. Three birdies on the back nine. And this is the final hole for Cheyenne Knight, who's had a good day today. Got it to five under par, was leading earlier in the round. Dropped a couple of shots midway through the day. And has had, well, I was going to say... All pars and a couple of bogeys on the front nine, but she's added a birdie as well. So it's a round of 68 for. All right, there's only one bogey free round among the morning wave, and it belongs to Luna Sabron Galmez, the Spaniard. And this for Eagle ties the lead. And so Luna.